Hi everyone and welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters. So we just got done speaking with Jeff. So I guess we'll go ahead and go back through here. Let's see. Um I don't really know what I'm meant to do. Oh. Uh, I don't want to go to work today. Yeah, but at least you're getting paid. I'm starting to forget what money even looks like. Oh, that reminds me. I left a 20 under your typewriter in case you wanted to order a pizza or something. Your mom complained about the leftovers. I thought they were for a game. She wanted to take them with her today. You know, she hates flying on an empty stomach. Right, I forgot. We'll have to. We'll have the place all to ourselves. Don't get too excited. Orders come from on high. It's overtime season. You might be on your own for a few nights. Well, there go all my plans. Oh, don't be so desperate. I know you hate it when I work late. So here, I made you this. Jeff gave you a naughty Polaroid. <laughs> okay. Lovely. <laughs> Well, there go my new plans. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeff. The trash bag in the kitchen's getting a bit full. Do you think you could drag it to the curb soon? No problem, I'll get it done. Thank you. Okay, well, I wish I knew what I was doing. That'd help. Okay, that was the bedroom there. What's here? Um. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see what's this way. Nothing apparently. Nothing. All right. Okay. I see. Good morning, Casey. Good morning, Sophie. Do you know what happened to the sausages I left in here the other day? I can't for the life of me find them anywhere. Uh... No idea. I've got no idea. Well, somebody ate them and it wasn't me. I can pick something up at the airport, I guess. You'll give us a call when you land, right? It's a military beast, Sophie. I'm perfect. I'm pretty sure I won't be allowed to. Besides, I won't be gone too long. Once we figure out what's going on with the scanners and why the um, readings at the polls are so strange lately, I'll be home in no time. Do me a favor and help out, Jeff. I don't want. I don't want to thaw out in a messy house. Are you sure you're up for Antarctica? Um. I'm going to miss you. Yeah, yeah, burn me up. Look, don't worry so much. I want to do this. Got to show them I'm worth the expense, right? You just keep the, your head in the book of yours. I really hope that contract you've been waiting on will come before I get back. Tell me about it. Well, that's my ride. See you when I see you, Sophie. Hoopa! Jeff, I'm leaving. Come say goodbye. Shit, already? I'm in the bathroom, hold on a second. I gotta go, Jeff. They're waiting on me. Be good. Love you. Mom? Wait, I'm here. She left without saying goodbye? Yeah, the car was gonna leave. Don't worry, Jeff. Your mum's one tough lady. She'll be fine. Yeah, I guess you're right. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh well, I gotta get to work before I'm late. You be good, my brilliant little writer. You just go and have a good day at work. I love you. I love you too. How sweet. Give me a call if the contract comes, alright? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I don't feel like eating right now. Okay. I can't think of a reason to call anyone, right? Maybe now maybe once the contract arrives. Um that's the front door. That's obviously a lamp. Let's go this way then. Um maybe we could feed the fishies. I wonder if my contract showed up today in today's mail. 
I have no idea. I play games later. Right now I need to check mail. Okay, I get it. What's out here? I'll go outside later. I've got a feeling that contract may have arrived. Yeah, okay. Well, I thought the contract may have been outside, you know, you know? Oh, look, the mail came. <laughs> okay, I get you, I get you. Hmm, what do we have here? Pizza L'Amour, San Ver Verdano's Finest, 20% up all, 20 off all pickup orders, the best deal in town. Hmm, San Verdano Pizza. This is it. Okay, can we open it? Can we open it? Holy shit, I can't believe the contract's here. What's going on? What's going on? Yes, I understand. Yes, I know. Yes, you explained. It's just that we're sort of a team, you know? Two halves of a whole peas and a pod, you know what I mean, right? It's really, it's just really important to me. I understand, Sophie. Sam's your partner, but the fact, facts are the guys upstairs only like your PCs. Times are getting tough too, you know? Business ain't what it used to be. They just don't have the money to spare on both of you. You can't afford to keep everyone you want. Look, take as long as you want to think about it. The deal stands as we've sent it. It always will. We'll find you. We'll fund you for the next six months so you can finish what you started. Then we go to print. You're sure you can keep it up with that kind of pace? Yeah, don't worry. Great, take as long as you want to think about it and give me a call once the papers are signed. Then I get the wife off my back and we can go for a celebration, celebrationary drink I'm buying. That sounds perfect. All right, I'll wait for your call. I'll speak with you soon, Sophie. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? That's everything I ever wanted, right? Okay, maybe we should phone Jeff. We should. We should I call Jeff? Oh my goodness, there's like an ambulance coming going past and it's really loud. <laughs> so it came. You're kidding me, right? Finally. Yeah, it's right here in front of me. What's the matter? You don't sound excited. Did they change the payments or something? Not exactly. The deal's still fine. They just don't want to bring Sam into the picture. Like, at all. This is still great news. Sure, you don't get everything you want, but this is it. Isn't this what you've been waiting on? So you'll have to do it without Sam. Big deal. Why can't you just take a minute and realise what an achievement this is? You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I've wanted this for a long time and now I've got it. Well, it's a pen stroke away still, but you know what I mean. Wait, you didn't sign it immediately? No, I wanted to get your opinion on the whole thing first. I wouldn't hesitate, honestly. This is going to be so good for you. This is going to be good, be so good for us. You're right. I'm sorry. Of course, this is is going to be good for us. We'll have the money to move, and we won't be waiting anymore. That makes me so happy to hear. It's your choice, though. Whatever you want to do, I support you. I know. I know. I love you too. All right. I'm going to leave you to figure it out. I've got. I'll get back to it if I'm ever going to get out of here. Don't wait up for me tonight, all right? We'll find time to talk after you've made a decision. All right, have fun at work. Huh, <laughs> not likely. <laughs> okay, let's um call Sam. See what they have to say. Um... I'm sorry, we cannot complete your call. The macro shift mobile customer you are trying to reach has run out of available credit on their account. Please hang up and try again later. It figures. Okay, cool. What should I do? Sign contracts. Um, this is the right thing to do. I'm sorry, Sam. Woo! Okay, so I guess that was a little bit in the past. So this is a day two. Whoa, that dream felt so real. Ah, far from reality though. I wonder what he's doing now. I'm going to start writing in my journal again. You completed a journal page. Okay, at least maybe the mail's here. 
Uh oh's, uh oh's. Whoa, deadbeat. You look even more shit than normal. The curbside nap teach you to pay your bills yet? I'm just here to get my mail and stuff out of my apartment then I'm gone. Huh, yeah right, you still owe me last month friends, so I'm gonna hold on to these ratty old clothes and the appliances for a while. I know a guy was willing to pay top dollar for all those panties you never got round to washing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's disgusting. Uh, that's too gross. If you ever find enough cash to get your key back, your stuff will be waiting for you. We have your key. Oh, whoa, are you kidding? A deadbeat like you paying rent. Don't make me laugh. Oh yeah, before I forget, when I was in there cleaning the place up for sh showings, I came across something I think you would probably want to hold on to. You know, to remind yourself of the days before your life turned to absolute shit. Ha 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 ha, good luck, deadbeat. I am not going to miss that guy. Whoa, it's been a long time since I've seen this. Okay, I wonder if that perfect landlord looked at this. Probably, probably. Well, let's see what's in the mail today. A wedding invitation. Join us at San Verde. Verdino's historic faith chapel for a night of celebration and join hands in holy matrimony and say our vows. What the fuck is this, Jeff? You're without me, not even a year and you've already moved on. More than that, you're getting married. It's not the end of the month, Jesus Christ, Jeff. No, I can't get angry, I can't get upset. We broke up, he can do whatever he wants. Why the hell would he... You invite me though to San Ver Verdano, no less. I love the place, but goddamn, that's cold. Are you testing me? Well, what do you want? Well, at least my check's finally here. I could do with some extra cash about now. You opened the letter from. You opened the letter from Larry. You received your publisher check. Ostium. 250. What the hell, Larry? This thing was supposed to be thousands. Something's gone really, really, really wrong here. I need to give Larry a call pronto. You copied down Larry's phone number. I need that money. Without it, there's no way I'll be able to get to him in time before the wedding. Okay, let's go use the pay phone and we'll go ahead and call Larry. Okay, let's give Larry a call. Hello, hello. Larry Hunter speaking. What the hell, Larry? I thought you I thought we had to deal. What the fuck happens? Hey Sophie, I've been expecting your call. Two hundred and fifty bucks. Where the hell can live off that? What happened to the rest of my money, Larry? You know, that contract you signed for us that said we would pay you so long as you produced us a book. That little paperback you were supposed to finish drafting ages ago. Is it ringing any bells? Well, that contract states that if the guy upstairs aren't happy with the output, they can pull the plug. I guess they're exercising their rights? Come on, I'm almost done, I promise. Just give me another week. We did that like 20 times already. I hate to say it, kid, but you were a bad pick. I made a mistake and now my ass is roasting just as much as yours is right now. My ass isn't roasting, it's goddamned freezing. I slept in a fucking alley last night, Larry. Shit, I'm sorry to hear that, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Sophie. You understand this is a business though, right? We don't just hand out money to every aspiring offer we thinks they've got what it takes. We place bets on your potential. The guys upstairs said I made a bad bet and decided that enough was enough. I'm sorry, but even if I wasn't pissed that you put my career in jeopardy with your laziness, there's nothing I can do about it. So what now? What do you mean? We're done. I had to fight to get you the check you're holding now sophie there's nothing left for you no that can't be it please for the love of god don't do this i need the money i need to get to san verdano san verdano what the hell are you going to do all the way across the country jeff's getting married ah it's all starting to make sense now you really miss him huh all right fine i'll help you out i'm a sucker for a good romantic story but you've got to make this count all oh, right, that's what I'm talking about. What's the deal, Larry? Tell me and I'll do it. Get on the next bus out of Duds Dubston and come meet me and beat in. I've got an odd, an odd job I need someone to take, help me take care of. You can stay at my place for a bit if you need to, but you're going to have to get here on your own. 
Oh my god. I'm so tired. It's on the way to San Verdano and I know don't even I know you don't even have the money for a flight, so don't even bitch to me about that. What's the catch? That journal of yours, the one you write in every night before you go to bed at the end of the month, I want it. What's in there? I'm salvaging and turning it into something we can sell, even if I have to type it all out myself. Belinda's going to lose her shit if I don't, if I lose this job, and you already owe me plenty. Fine, that's fair enough, I guess. I'll keep writing in the journal and you'll get it at the end of the month. We can do that. Great, then we've got a deal. Except for one glaring problem, Larry. I don't have any money for a bus ticket. Damn it. Do I have to do everything for you? Sorry, I didn't mean to lose my temper. I'll make a few calls after you hang up. By the time you finish breakfast, there should be some work for you. Patrick over the, the Daily News Times is always on the lookout for decent freelancers and we go way back. So any recommend on recommendation I give him is golden. Hi wrong ad agency used to do our marketing but I heard though the great through the vape oh my gosh I heard through the grapevine they're in a bit of a jam after losing their lead copywriter. I'll send up both meetings for you. No, I'll set up both meetings for you. You just go wherever you like and do a good job. Don't make me regret this. Don't worry I won't see you in a few days. Okay well, um, let's see. Oh, we can go to this bank here. Dead Daily News, not bank. Welcome to Daily News Times. I can only help if you have an appointment. Okay, hang on a second, guys. I'm trying to sort my foot and it's like, got cramp, it's sore. Okay, I can only help if you have an appointment. I'm here to speak with Patrick. I was told he'd be expecting me. Oh, you must be Sophie. Please go ahead. Just look at the big glass doors. Just go through the big glass go doors even. <laughs> I can't read anymore. I can't. Oh. Patrick? Yes, Mr. Bubbles. You're a hungry Mr. Bubbles, aren't you? Sorry, I was in my own little world. I find feeding the fish very relaxing. That's nice, I suppose. I'm here about my freelancing job. A guy named Larry should have called about me. I guess I was expecting you. Sophie, isn't it? We need someone to do a story on the press conference happening down at the movie theatre. The Sony Entertainment Company is announcing something big today. Rumour has it they're opening a new theatre in town and we need to be on top of it. We need total coverage. Alright, what do I have to do? You'll have to go down and attend the conference, get all the details from the announcement and find out what's going on. There should be a chap named named Aaron there. He's the public relations director for the company. He'll probably give you a long spiel about the development. I've been in this business long enough to know a hunkster when I see one, so don't just take his word for everything. You're a reporter, damn it. Get all the facts for the story, return here and get it filed at any one of the terminals in the main office. We'll run it tomorrow's edition. I'll pay you out first thing tomorrow morning if it prints. The gig pays 10 cents per word, so you'll get 100 for the piece. So what do you say, kid? You want the job? I'm on the job. Sounds great. I'm on the job. Fantastic. That's the evening. The event's just down the road at the current sunny Megaplex. Get down there as soon as possible before the conference starts. I'm assuming you have some sort of cell phone I can contact you in case of a news emergency, right? Um, actually no, I don't have this handy. I do have this handy dandy beeper though I picked up for cheap online. Just beep me if you need me. Beep you. Seriously. What year do you think this is, kid? A goddamn beeper. Do you want an old timey news that says press on it too? I hope it would be great actually. I'm kidding. Just give me your goddamn beeper number and get to the press conference before I change my mind, you crazy loot. So, I don't get an old timey hat then? No. Now, get going, kid. We have deadlines to meet. Oh my goodness. Reading is tiring. Oh. <laughs> Big huge yawn there. Okay, let's go to this place that he was talking about. The Megplex. The Megaplex. Cookies. Where is the damn Megaplex? He said it was just down the road. Oh, here it is. Oopsie. 
How did I manage to get in there? <laughs> okay, and we go. So, that's how we secured our position as the number one source for quality entertainment nationwide. Oh, looks like they started without me. Which brings me to our big announcement. In just a few days, we will begin construction on a brand new state-of-the-art multi-screen megaplex here in the heart of Dubstown. This venue will be the largest in the entire country and will support the latest and high quality film projection technologies. Ladies and gentlemen, this beloved but aging theatre is about to get a real facelift as we jettison into future of film. Plans currently include massive 20 screen setup which means we'll be able to deliver more of the movies you love closer to home. There's no doubt that with this new development Sony, uh, Sony Entertainment will continue to be your first choice in quality family entertainment. Now I'm sure you have plenty of questions about this exciting announcement. Mm. Alright, not everyone at once. You with the poofy hair. Yeah, hi there. Brian Crenson with Polyhedron Online. Can you comment on the trend of your theatres increasing the price of popcorn every year? Excellent question, Byron. While our company has always tried to deliver the most cost-effective theatre experiences for our millions of loyal customers, prices do change over the years. A few of the concession items have had slight price increases, but only as a means of counteracting inflation. We take immense pride in offering our customers a value and experience that continues to suppress that of all our competitors. Alright, who's next? You, over there with the sunglasses. Right, hello chap. James St Starling with Ikapasa or something. <laughs> Several of your competitors have begun offering their movies in full 3D. Does Sunny have any plans to follow suit? Great question, James. I'm happy to announce that this new Megaplex will be the first of our venues to offer this exciting new option for moviegoers. We've already sta slated our first 3D film, The Horror Extravaganza Slasherman 4, for our opening weekend. So you can pre order tickets starting next week. Hmm, looks like we've got time for one more. Yes, you ma'am with the notepads. Um, hey, Sandra Arden, joysandsticks.com. Can you comment on the proposed location of this new development? There has been some negative speculation about where this new theatre is going to be built and none of your representatives have commented yet. Could you please clear up for us exactly where you guys are planning to build this thing? I assure you, most of the contention to our plans have come from very small vocal minority with some very radical and dangerous socialist I ideologies. Our location is currently a rundown blight on this city and we believe that this theatre will help both our local community and the economy. In fact, after the papers were signed tomorrow, we will be underway to offer many new employment opportunities right here in Dubston. But enough of the boring business talk, it's time to give you all a small taste of the sort of theatre experience Sony Entertainment is known for. Please find your way into the theatre and enjoy this complimentary screen of our latest action flick, The Dirty Macro Fugitive. Okay. Apologies, your face. Your face I haven't seen before. Which outlet are you with? Oh, uh. Oh, I uh, hey. Sophie, uh, Daily News Times. There's no need for formalities here, Sophie. My name's Aaron. I handle all the communications for Sony Entertainment and our parent company, Macroshafts Corporation. It's my job to make sure that if you, you need anything at all, you've got it. Did you have any questions? Well, you seem pretty familiar with everyone here. Is that typical for this sort of thing? Well, it's part of the job, to be honest with you. I'm here to act as a facilitator between the press and the company, so I try to build good working relationships, helps things run smoothly. With that in mind, I would like to get to know you a little bit better. Patrick was always such a stick in the mud, but you seem a lot more malleable. What do you say we head into the other theatre? We've got 
an advanced copy of Duckman Returns if you're interested. I really, I hear it's really good. So, whoa, the movie won't be out for a month. So, then again, I probably shouldn't break away from the group just yet. Do well, what you like, of course, but Duckman Returns won't be available for a long time and you can see the dirty macro for you to have any time you like. So which is it going to be? Of course, you've made a wise choice, my friend. Right this way, would you kindly? Oh my goodness, so much reading. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired from reading. Who gets tired from reading? <laughs> Big yawn. So what did you think of the movie? Pretty damn fantastic if I do say so myself. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a serious contender come award season. Um, it was great. Thanks for showing it. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Apart from a few test audience you're one of the first people in the world to see that flick everyone's been really looking forward to it and early reviews have been overwhelmingly positive i bet a lot of folks would be pretty jealous of you right about now enough about the film though you're not writing a review anyway are you you're here to find about our exciting new tw 20 screen 3d ca cap capable surround sound megapixels um, I wanted to give you a chance to field any questions now before you wrote your story. You know, to make sure thing, there's no incorrect assumptions or niggling inconsistencies. I'm here to help you with anything at all. Did you have any questions? Um, no. Hmm. Okay. Use it to take your boyfriend out on a nice day if you want. It's up to you. Um, we got a gift bag. Sure. Thanks. The gift bag. Thank you. Um, thank you. Well, thanks. I'll put it to good use. Oh, great. I'm glad we understand each other. Some people can get really touchy about gift bags. Honestly, I don't see why. Right. Well, I should go. The story's not going to file itself. Take care. Awesome. Let's go do this story. Oh, my gosh. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Excuse me, can I have a minute of your time? What's up? Sure, what's up? Here, take one of our pamphlets. Um, good people are about to lose their homes and nobody seems to care. I have to go back now, but thank you. Nobody else has stopped to hear me all day. Okay. I guess that would be the new movie getting me. The new movie place and maybe going to take up people's homes. I don't know. That's the way it sounds like. I'm super tired. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, let's go do this story. And... and we're gonna go to this one. I guess I better get this interview filed if it's going to make the paper tomorrow. Start writing. First things first, I need to catch a headline. State of the art theatre coming to Dubstown. Sony Entertainment building new theatre. New movie theatre coming to Dubstown. State of the art we'll go for. That'll make it I'm um, pretty happy to read. Right, now I need a good intro to sink the reader into the story. Sony Art and Entertainment bringing the best to Dubstown. Slasherman 4 debuting in Dubstown or a press conference today announced. Um, let's go with uh, Sun. Why is someone shouting outside? Seriously, <laughs> Sunny Entertainment bringing the best to Dubstown. Um, Sunny Entertainment is bringing the best of their high quality entertainment to Dubstown with a new theatre development set to revolutionise movie watching. Yeah, that'll get quite a lot of people excited about the new theatre. That'll center, certainly grab some attention now to flesh it out with a few more details. Um, uh, let's popcorn prices on the rise. Speculation about the prices of popcorn and other concessions on the rise have proven accurate as confirmed by Sunny Public Rel Relationship Manager. Those prices change 
the price changes are in accordance with the company's policy to adjust inflation. I think that gets the gist across. Perfect. Now all I need is a conclusion. Um... Um... Let's go ahead and see it. it's going to bring jobs. The planned construction of the new Sunny Megaplex will bring many new jobs to Dubson, including a sizable number dedicated to the building and maintenance. That should leave people feeling happy about the development. Well, I guess that's about it for the story. I should file this and then get to bed. I'm starving. Uh, I'm starting to get... It's uh, starting to get late. Um, file story. Some damn fine work. Patrick's going to love it. What's a girl got to do for a meal? I'm hungry. Okay. Okay. Let's have something, some of that leftovers then. Let's have some of that. Okay. I guess that's all we have. <laughs> right then. Now what? Well, I actually think we'll do it as we will end this part here. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye.